Today we are going to look on to how we can solve differential equations, but I want us to start from the simple ones to complex ones. So the form of differential equation I want us to solve for today is a differential equation in the form of uh, the first derivative of y with respect to x equals to some function of x. Once you can transform your differential equation in this form, all you have to do is to integrate both sides to obtain the general solution. So now let us look on to the first example. So this is our first problem. To solve this differential equation, we are going to integrate this side and the other side with respect to x. From the left hand side, we only have y because first of all, this cancel this and the integral will cancel d leaving only y, so we have only y to the left hand side. And to the right hand side, we are going to integrate term by term. So if you integrate this term, you're going to get three, then you increase this power by one, which is three. Minus, you are going to increase the power by 1 because naturally this has a power of 1, which will make it 2. So we have 6 over 2, which is 3, x to the power of 2. And the last one, which is constant, if you integrate constant with respect to x, you are going to obtain 5x. Let us further simplify. This is y equals 2, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we have x to the power of 3 minus 3x to the power of 2 plus 5x plus our constant of integration c. So we call this a general solution because the value of c is unknown. I uh, suppose we are given some additional information uh, about this differential equation. We can use those information to find the value of c, then we substitute it back to obtain a particular solution. So now let us look on to another question. If you can see, our second question is not in the form of dy over dx equal to uh, f of x, because we have another x here multiplying our derivative. So all we have to do is to divide both sides by this x in order to eliminate it here. So by dividing both sides by x, we have from the left-hand side dy over dx equals to, if you divide this term by x, the power of x will reduce by 1. So we have 5x to the power of 2. And the last term is going to be 4 over x. Now we are free to apply our integration to the both sides. If you integrate this side, you are going to obtain y. And to the other side, we can integrate these terms independently. So let us integrate the first term by factoring 5 out, then we integrate x squared with respect to x, plus we can do the same here, we factor 4 out, then we integrate 1 over x with respect to x. y equals 2. If you integrate this, you're going to obtain x to the power of 3 divided by 3, which is the same thing as 5 over 3, x to the power of 3, then plus, here we have 4 times the integral of 1 over x, which is just the natural log of x. So we have uh, the natural log of x, then plus our constant of integration, c. So this is the general solution for this differential equation. The same thing, if other conditions are given, we use those conditions to find the value of c, then substitute the value of c back to obtain a particular solution. So now let us look on to the last problem. Uh, the last problem as well is not in the form of dy over dx equals to f of x, because we have a real exponent multiplying our derivative. All we have to do is to divide both sides by our real exponent. So we have from the left hand side dy over dx, and this is equal to 4 over exponential x. dy over dx will now be equal to 4 times 1 over 
exponential x. I have just factored 4 out dy over dx will now be equal to 4. Law of indices, this can be written as exponential negative x. So what is left for us is to integrate both sides. So from the left hand side, we have only y. And to the right hand side, we have 4. Then the integral of exponential negative x. This is y equals 4 times if you take the integral of exponential of a function, it's the same thing as the exponential of that function. Divide by the derivative of the power of e. If you differentiate negative x, you are going to obtain negative 1. This is the same thing as multiplying by negative 1 over 1. So by multiplying them all together, we have negative 4 exponential negative x. So therefore, we see y equals negative 4 exponential negative x plus the constant of integration c. So this is the general solution for our differential equation. But suppose we are given a condition y of 0 equals 3. Substituting back in this equation the value of y equals 3 and x equal to 0, we'll be able to find the real value of c. So we say when y equals to 3, then x equal to 0. So we have negative times 0 is still 0, then plus c. 3 equals to negative 4 plus c because this is 1. If you bring negative 4 backward, you're going to obtain 3 plus 4, which is equal to c. This shows that c is equal to 7. So to obtain a particular solution, we substitute the value of c in this equation. So we say y is now equal to negative 4 exponential negative x plus 7. So this is a particular solution for this differential equation. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new content. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues and hit the like button.